happy Thanksgiving. I hope you ate a lot, but not too much. Hey guys, welcome to Router 2 Brief. Today we're going to talk about getting rid of salt creep. Not that kind of salt creep. And we also have a special guest, Mark Tatum, world-renowned reefing expert. Salt creep is when water will splash up, carrying salt with it, and then the salt will stay to the side of your tank, creeps over the side, as you can see here, on the top of your glass lids, and everything like that. So what I like to do is I'll take the glass lids off as the salt creep gets worse. Sometimes I'll scrape it with a credit card and simply just put it back into the tank. Once every couple weeks or as needed, I'll take it outside, the glass lids, which can be a little heavy. Make sure your hands are dry so you don't let them slip out of your hand. But the last thing you want is to have glass shattering in your hands or on the concrete. You could really get injured. And also, you don't want to spend money on more glass lids. So make sure everything's dry. Use some rubber gloves for extra gription. I'll put them gently down on the side and I'll hose them down with just regular water and I'll let them air dry. Once they're dry, I just put them back on the tank. Simple as that. No cleaners, no disinfectants, of course. Never any of that in or around your tank. Never use soap. The only thing you'd want to use if you want to clean is like white vinegar, spray white vinegar. Uh, but I don't, I just spray it down with the hose, put them back on, no more salt creep, and it's good. You want to clean the salt creep and any algae that is underneath on your glass lids for a couple of reasons. For one, it looks better, most importantly. For two, you want to let as much light coming from your overheads, LEDs, whatever you're using, through the glass, because it's going to penetrate the glass, penetrate the water, if you have that obscured in any way with salt creep or just algae or anything on that glass, then your corals are going to get less light and your tank won't look as bright or nice. Okay, so here's Mark with a tip. Thanks, Steve. Uh, I'm Mark Tatum with uh, Fish World. Uh, good to be talking to you guys. Uh, you know, I get a lot of questions that come to me. Uh, each week, and the, the number one question I get is, "Hey, Mark, how do you uh, how do you clean your fish tank?" Okay, it's a, it's a good question. Happens. Everybody needs to clean their tanks. Comes up. Uh, now you're going to be told things like, "Hey, I should use purified water or vinegar. I need to take all the fish out." That's actually not true. Okay, I mean you're going to be told that by the guy who works at the fish counter because he wants to sell you the extra cool purified water. What I've discovered is, uh, it's pretty simple, actually. Uh, you just go down to your local, your local grocery store, you buy a bottle of palm olive, and then you just pour it into the aquarium. Now, make sure you get a good distribution. I usually use 12 ounces, if you want to go with 20, 12 to 20 ounces of palm olive, and then you stir. Let's say you feel like one of your fish is maybe dirtier than the others. If you scoop that one up in your net and then just rub the palm olive on the sides. You know how the fish is a slimy, it has that slimy coating? Uh, this is gonna help that. It's gonna help the slime factor uh, on the fish. So make sure you coat your fish in palm olive, get it on the tank, get it on the sides. I mean, some people, I've heard this argument. Hey, doesn't soap kill fish? No. I mean, the best analogy I can make is, okay, you get in a tub. Right? What do you do in the tub? You put soap in it. You put soap in the what does it kill you? No. So, duh, your fish are gonna be fine. They're gonna be clean. Um, it's really the best technique I've ever used, and uh, I hope you use it too. This is Mark Tatum with another fish tip from Fish World. Saying bye-bye, everybody. Thanks a lot, Steve. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and don't forget tomorrow we're gonna be announcing the winner of the Cooper Mean Contest giveaway. All right, I'll be making a video for that late tonight, so it'll be posted tomorrow on Sunday's vlog. Have a great weekend, you guys, and I'll see you next Saturday. Subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you dig it. Share it out if you know some family and friends, maybe your grandma. See you guys.